Then I go back to looking at this from the individual parent and child point of view. The schools are successful, but with an education savings account or with the uh, tax credit scholarship, parents who could not afford out of their own income to make this choice could combine these different programs to make it possible for their child to attend one of those schools. I think the Wesleyan tuition is about 7000 and I think the St. John's tuition is about 6000 So if you had an education savings account program as the one proposed, um, I believe, and I didn't bring a sheet of paper, when we said it staff did an assessment, uh, the course of the core would get about $4,000, or $4,000, so obviously they would either need to combine that with other scholarship or opportunities, or think about this, parents will make sacrifices for their children. They will go get another job. Maybe grandmother and granddad could help. We sometimes assume that poor people are not thinking people. That because they are poor, somehow they are incapable of maneuvering their way through life. And that's true for many, but not all. So I think we need to teach them, treat them with respect and understand that their concerns, concerns for their children are the same as Charlie's and mine for ours, and uh, allow them to access these different schools uh, where possible, even though these schools are already successful in their own right. I know just one more uh, personal insight. One of the reasons I, I came to this many, many years ago um, is that for a time my kids attended St. John's Elementary School and we could afford to send them there. But many Catholic families could not afford to send their children there. So to this day, Charlie and I donate each year to St. John's Catholic School so the Catholic families who are poor can get the education they want for their children. It's just parents and society working together for individual children, whether you are inside or outside the public system, which is going to continue, continue to serve the vast majority of our children and where I, as a senator, and my Senate colleagues in the House spend the bulk of our time at the Capitol talking about public education funding, public education policies, and how to make things better for classroom teachers.